So, okay. We have a demo today. And so, all week long, it's ruler week. I and love rulers. I know. They're, they're your best friend. Or your worst friend. They, yes, <laughs> they are. It is so true. So we have a ruler. And first of all, just give me a little shout out. How many of you have ever made a half square triangle? Like have, all the time? Half square that? triangles are great, aren't they? Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Anvil. Hello, Adam. <laughs> Hi <laughs> guys, back from lunch. How are you? <laughs> they didn't even know that's what was funny. <laughs> They're just walking by. So, um, half square triangles. Look at that. We have a few. Me, me, me. Yes. I think we make these probably all the time. All the time. Yeah. I was gonna say I don't every think... quilt, not every quilt, but probably. I was gonna say most quilts, like 90% of the quilts, you have a half square triangle, yeah, right? Somewhere, somewhere, whether it's a big one or a little one, or whether you're doing multiple ones and you're getting the hourglass shape or whatever, you're doing half square triangles. Yeah. So you use them all the time. Now, how many of you have done a half square rectangle? I didn't even know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, we're going to do a half square, and we couldn't figure out what it was. It's yeah. a rectangle. So if you hear me call it a half, half triangle rectangle, that's not <laughs> what it's called. It's a half square. I have my note right here. <laughs> I'm like, should I write it on my hand? Yes. You know, if I have so, it on the sticky. <laughs> <laughs> so half square rectangles. Us. And I liked them. <laughs> I love having our, <laughs> our, our cast our, behind uh, yes, us. Our backup dancers back there. <laughs> so half square rectangles. They are a little bit tricky. And when I thought about these, I thought, you know, why, why don't we use these as often? They're kind of cool. They have some really cool blocks. And I thought, okay, first of all, you have a shape. So you have geometry. I'm out. <laughs> you have quilting math. Out again. And... I don't know what the other one is, but I think it's, I think you would call it, well, okay, I know what it is. When you were in kindergarten <laughs> and they gave you a picture and they said, let's see, like, what would they say? What are we looking for? Let's, oh, let's use this. And they would say, what is the mirror image of this? And then below it, they would have a shape like this and they would have a shape like this. Right. And they'd have a shape like this. Right. Like this. So that would be the mirror image. I think with half square rectangles, you also have to have that mirror image and know about mm -hmm. that because that that plays into effect when you're making your half square rectangles. <laughs> She's gonna say triangles. I almost said it, yeah. <laughs> so your half square rectangles. So it is a little bit tricky because there's a lot of things that are into play when you're, right. when you're doing it. Mm -hmm. So the ruler that I'm using today to demonstrate them is the perfect rectangle by Creative Grids. And you can see it. Sue so was asked, make sure you tell yeah. a specific ruler. Yeah, so it's right yep. there. The perfect rectangle. And um, Creative Grids has this one. And the reason they call it the perfect rectangle is same. because there. it is always yeah. this distance is always half of this, or this is twice what this is. <laughs> She lost me. <laughs> See, geometry. <laughs> and then we're going to throw in some mirror imaging. So here's this one. Um, Chris on Tuesday showed the Creative Grids ruler, and she showed how to scan this with your camera. You just hold up your camera, and sometimes you have to tilt it a little bit, give it a little bit of time, but you can scan the QR code. And they show you some tutorials on how to use this. And they also show you some projects with this. So it's kind of fun to look and see just what they have. It's a short video, maybe five minutes long, mm -hmm. but it is kind of a fun tool to have to make those half square rectangles. I almost said triangles <laughs> again. So um, what we're going to do, looking at Larry's, all the, all the folks in the brown, bear, the brown, brown bag, bag mystery, mystery by... Oh, so there oh, is a quilt. Okay. I yeah. guess someone is using this ruler. Yeah. A so Karen Montgomery is the one who designed this quilt or this ruler. If you can see her name on there. It's hard to see. I need white. 
I am white. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Anyway, there she you has go. her name. <laughs> so, yeah, she's the one that designed this. So if she has a quilt, that would be fantastic. I bet, she, yeah, she's going to be using this ruler exactly. So, you see Heidi's comment. She says, I told my geometry teacher I was going to be a pro golfer. And I didn't need <laughs> geometry. You lied. <laughs> Yes, I. You know, it is one of those things when kids are like, "When will I use this?" Who knew it was going to be quilting? I right? didn't have to do algebra in quilting, though. Just basic uh, math, right? No, you I, you have algebra. Do you? Yeah. I just follow whatever is on the pattern. So, yeah, but what about when it says how wide do your borders need to be, and you have to measure three times? That's Unless algebra. Someone else do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to look. We have some fabric with us, and we've cut these into six-inch strips, and we have two of them. And what we're going to show you is, I mean, it's pretty simple to cut the rule, to cut the triangle, and but there are some a few little tricks. And the first one um, is going to, we're going to put these both right side up, okay? And we're going to cut two triangles. Now, these are six inches. So on our ruler, we will put yeah, we'll put this at the six inch mark. So, so we'll yeah, tilt it down. Tilt it down. <laughs> without closing yeah, the Yeah, without computer. closing the computer. And turning it off. Oh, right? wouldn't that be terrible? All right. So we've got those lined back up now. And these are both right side up. So they're both facing in the same direction. And we're going to cut these on the six inch line. So that's right there. So you got the six yeah. inch line and then you've got, and then we got just right along the side here. So along the side. And the top is. Yep. yep. And the top is flat. Yeah. Yeah, flat with the piece. So this has like your dog ear already cut out and then it has a little notch on this side that you also want to cut out. So let me cut this and then we'll slide, slide it up. I love when they have those little dog ear things cut yeah, already for you. Because it does help. So we're going to cut. And then we're going to cut this little dog ear. So we have that. And normally with um, like a half square triangle. Tilt this down a little more. There, maybe. Okay. We would say, you know, take your fabrics, put them right side together sew along the seam and then press it open. But if I was to sew along this seam and press it open, yeah, I was gonna say, that is that's not, not gonna work. That is not a rectangle. And so what you're going to do is both of them are both sides up, then you will take this one and you will flip it. So that's how you're going to make your, your rectangle is you'll take these were cut like this, both fabrics facing up, and then you cut it, and then this one will rotate. And then to sew them together, you will line up this little notch with the bottom. Here, I'm gonna show you that a little up close. So this is the little notch that I cut right here, and it lines up with the bottom of the fabric. And then I have just this little dog ear that kind of sticks out and then it lines up straight. So I would take that and I would sew it. And then I would have a half square rectangle. So now if I want to cut another one, I'm going to flip my ruler over. And we're going to cut on the six inch line. And we're going to line up this along the angle this time. And then our little dog ear. And this one, we'll take it, turn it, and what do we have? Opposites. We have opposites. Love it. So, um, this is our mirror image one where it's like, it's, it's not, 
I don't, it's not mirror image. I don't know what it is. It's like a rotating thing though. So no matter which way you turn it, the angles, oh wait, 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 look. This one's They're this the way. Same. They are the same. That's why I was right. like, wait, wait, what happened? <laughs> so these are the same. Yes. So there we have two that are the exact same. I like so. Larry just made a comment. He said, the key to this ruler is to practice with muslin. It's yes. very easy to all left facing pieces. If you use batiks, you're lucky. You just flip the the PM over to get the perfect rectangle. Yes. <laughs> so solids, that's exactly. If you're a first timer, solids would be a great option right. <laughs> because you can just turn it to get your opposite angle. And, she, and we'll show you that. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to hope this works. <laughs> <laughs> now you need to do now, we're going to put both sides together. I'm hoping this worked last time. <laughs> I'm getting really nervous. I put that on the six. Nothing like live. I camera, know. Right? Live TV. Isn't it like whatever? Just don't make me do math on a <laughs> screen. So there's one. And. Flip the ruler again. Flip the ruler. We're going to cut a second one. All right. Say a little prayer. What was this? Cut, measure once, mm -hmm. cut twice, swear, repeat. We're going to see. <laughs> Wait, no, that's wait, not wait, right. Wait. Yep. I'm like, wait a second. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not this right. This is when you choose a solid. Oh, look. <laughs> You've got a perfect rectangle. You've got a perfect rectangle. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, man. We need one more. We're going to just bake it with this fabric. No, I, I know. Okay, I'm looking at this. You do that. But I'm going to figure do what that. we did I'm wrong. Gonna cut, I'm going to cut one more. I know what I forgot. What did if you, you flip it over. Isn't it this? You have to flip it over? Yeah. I think that's what I ended up doing with my other ones. Did that do it? There's one. This one's the opposite way. And <laughs> yeah, we still have a pink <laughs> one. So now we need to flip it over. We need to do one more flipped. So you would do like together and then flip it. Back the other way. The point is, you need yes. to practice. Yes, this one. <laughs> definitely practice this one. Gloria says, "Blooper reel." <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gloria, if you could keep count, Allison would appreciate it a lot. Just remember. Yeah. <laughs> February seventeenth, thirty at three. Blooper reel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's one of those things. Like when it worked. So these were the ones I cut. Okay, we're gonna move these ones aside. Yeah. And I think I must have flipped that fabric. Take, so this take one. two. Yep. <laughs> so these were together. Uh, and look. That's what we're yeah. that's what we were going for. <laughs> yep. So there you have two that have opposite angles. And and if I do flip this, it still has the opposite angle. So this way and this yeah. way. So this is a mirror image. If you guys can see the top of it. There you go. There we go. So um, your triangles this way, your angles are, and this would be your line of symmetry. I just there you go. it. We All are. Right. <laughs> so um, everyone's probably thinking, you know what? <laughs> Kenzie's like, or just get solids. <laughs> <laughs> just get solids. Yes, I highly recommend using solids for your first half square rectangle quilt because 
it is a little tricky. Once you get, I mean, really, once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. You just kind of get in that pattern because I was doing it and I'm like, oh yeah, I think I flipped the fabric. So, but let's see what else we can do with it. Because, once you've got it cut correctly. Yeah, once you've got it cut correctly, because that's kind of where the fun happens, I think. Yeah. This oh, so let's, I think it was with all rulers. Yeah. Like, once you get the basic. Yes. And it does get easier with practice. And because it's like, you can also be like, okay, like if you're doing a quilt, you're going to cut a bunch the same, mm -hmm. and then you can make sure it's the other way the same. Yeah. So it's like you kind of get into that pattern instead of having to switch after just two. So you would cut like, the, you know, 30 one way, and then you would flip it and do 30 the other mm -hmm. way. So, yep. All right. So let's look at... <laughs> yeah. Thanks, buddy Joe. It's her daughter's birthday, so she'll be sure to remember our bloopers. <laughs> we got it figured out, though. We got it. <laughs> All right. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah. So we have some half square rectangles, and we have four that are the same. Okay. So um, I could do a quilt like this. Um, this kind of makes kind of a fun border or oh, yeah. like an edge. Like a, you, like a saw. Yeah. Yeah. Like the sawtooth or whatever. So if you want to do that for a panel. Oh, yeah. Um, like this, you would just set it up and you would do them all the same. You don't even have to flip these ones. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not using solids, go with this. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, could... yeah. And so if we turn them this way. Look, I love the angle that. That makes kind of does that little yeah so it's kind of like the the striped but yeah. it's fun i love um, that yep so what else can we do with it well well let's... you could do even like this oh. so there's kind of a, a a side diamond shape um another fun i'm just playing right here yeah. so let's see what So it's kind, kind of, of the same thing. Yeah. Just that's kind of almost it's the almost same a hound's toothish look. Kind yeah. Of thing. Mm -hmm. So um, and that's just with the basic block. So if you just have the ruler and just are playing, that is a good a good option. So now if I take this and I want to turn it into we're gonna show you kind of a star. Yeah, let's push that back and see if we can. There we go. All right. So we have just a middle piece. Um, these blocks, I think we're eight inches. Yeah. Nope, they're six and a half. Six and a half, so it'll be six finished. And then, so if it's six, then it's going to be three and a half this way. Because it's remember, it's always going to end up being twice the one. Okay, so then this is there and let's put those on on the center block i'm trying to remember which direction it goes and then we have some little corner stones so this one would be fun if you had like this has kind of got a big print but if you had a big you know really pretty print something like that where you wanted to show off that print um that would be kind of a fun. So there's one block that you could do that would give you your star. Um, there were some samples where these, they just did them like a checkerboard. So they were a four by four thing. Mm -hmm. And it actually makes it really cute. Oh, I bet. It just decorates it up. But I just wanted you to see kind of that overall star. So we have that one. Now, if I had um, another block that was just a 12 inch block, I can also use these, I mean, we kind of talked about going around the edges, but I can use them like this to just add um, kind of kind of another different sawtooth along the edge. There's a lot of different ways you can use those. And then if we have one, we'll show you a picture of another thing. So that's kind of a fun thing. And the other thing you can use this ruler for is to set your blocks on a point. So if we, this was our square and you cut these all out, I think this one's a little bit tricky because 
you want to go to this side because it's the same length. Yeah, we were like, oh, this is how it goes. And yeah. no, that's so you're like, oh, this works. This is my my square in a square. But and then you realize, no, nope, nope, that's not going to work. <laughs> no, nope. but it's kind of a cool looking star. And you could <laughs> set it with your background fabric and have kind of this pinwheely thing going on. But what you're going to do is the first thing you want to do is fold your center fabric in half, give it a little finger press there on the corners, and this the other direction. And then we have this, these center lines marked. Now, I know you guys can't see those, so I'm going to mark them with my Kimberbell washable pen. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Hopefully I can see it. <laughs> Sorry, that. You can kind of see those center marks. This one's probably the best. And now instead of this side that's the same length, I'm going to take my side that is the long side. Now, when you cut these ones, you don't have to cut the notch, but if you do, it's going to be okay. So, we're just going to fold it. The mate, the orange quilt. I don't know what quilt ruler she is. I'll have to go. It might be out there. And Suzanne's not here today. The orange quilt? I'll go run and see. Go see if you can see, see the orange quilt. quilt. The orange quilt. There's, and I don't know if I find my glasses. I was gonna say I don't I don't know if um, she was just showing it if, or if it's in the store still. So I'm folding these just to help you guys. I'm marking it so you can see the middle. And to do this, it's a little bit tricky on the first step because you're not gonna sew the entire seam. So I've got these, we're going to match them up. And the first seam you sew is going to be your partial seam. And on your partial seam, you'll put your, your, your um, fabrics right side together. Here's my center mark. Here's my center mark. And I match them up. And she took it home. Yes, we'll have to ask her. We'll ask Suzanne if that's if this is the ruler she used. So I'm going to sew a partial seam. I'm going to use a quarter inch, and I'm going to start probably about halfway, and then just sew my quarter inch seam. Then I'll be able to cut this little bit of a dog ear off that we'll show, and then I'll do the next one. Center mark right here to center mark. Put it there. So, and you'll sew all the way on this one. So and you have it at the corner. Yeah, it's not. It's not lined up. There's. The oh, okay. There's like That's, wait a I second. I wanted to make sure I yep. was understanding. Yeah. So it's going to hang over. A little. Yep. It will. Same thing here. You'll cut this dog ear off, and then you're ready to sew the next one. So middle mark to middle mark. And then you'll cut this off, and then on this one, middle mark to middle mark and sew it and when you get here this one remember we didn't sew it all the way is going to lift up and go under so then you'll sew and then you'll finish sewing that seam so to show you what that looks like this is the one where i only sewed part way and so this was here this was here this was here, this was here. So we sewed them, we open it up, and this one would have gone under and that would have been there. So what's nice about this is what do we have here? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Quarter inch. Yep. So we'll, we'll square it up because we do have some of these little dog ears. So we'll square it up and then you have your 
um, little seams and you have enough to do your quarter inch seam and, and still and you, have a and point. Have points. So that's what makes I that really that. nice. Yeah. And it just makes them all kind of nice and cute and tucked my, in. I'll lose my points sometimes. Yeah. I know. So Don't you hate it when you I lose a that. point like, and you're like, I was so careful. And then when you unpick it and it's like, there's no saving it. You yep. just have to. <laughs> you just hope that no one notices that yep. there's no point there. Yeah. So that one makes it really nice to get that's that perfect. nice square. Yeah. yeah. So that, even though it's called a half square rectangle, it is also very, very good for this. Square and a square. Yep, square and a square. So, and, and on these ones, you get to cut them all the same direction. <laughs> so you don't even have to figure out how which, to change them. <laughs> yeah, you want them all the same. So that is great. Um, is this easy to square up with the orange poplars? I don't know. I would think so because your orange pop rulers are going to be square. And so you'll just use the size you want. So it's like, okay, if I want, so we use the, I think we use six and a half on this one. And it is going to square to about a nine inch probably is what it's going to be. Yeah. So um, you would, you know, so it's like, oh, if I'm doing an eight inch, you can figure that out um, and then just square them up. So super easy to use that, especially for that if yes. you're not trying to. <laughs> like we said, to practice first. <laughs> yes. So a couple of things I wanted to show you guys some quilts that I saw that um, show you some things you can use these for. Because I think sometimes we think, oh, that's really simple. So, so what, do, yeah, what, yeah, what else use? What else can I do with it? And so this is from the Creative Grids. It's a screenshot from their little video. And look at that quilt in Ooh, the back. I love Oh, there's your four yeah, patches. That's, yep, there's the four patches with the star. And I if you look that. at the table runner on the on in front of her, she has like a 12-inch square, and then she's used two six-inch half square rectangles and kind of butted them up on the wide ends. And then it makes kind of that circle around there. I Don't love you love that. that? I love that I love one that. too. Yeah. Um, let's see. This one was a fun one. And it's just half square Ooh. triangles and it's just the color choice. I so, love that. Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful one. This one looks a little tricky. <gasps> but it's, I would have never thought to do It's kind of that DNA yeah. thing. Yeah. Thing. Kind of a DNA type of look, but those are all just half square triangles. Half square rectangles. Yes, half square rectangles. rectangles. Oh, you almost made it. So close. <laughs> We're going to end this broadcast a minute ago, so I had them all right. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, that one's, that really, one's pretty. really pretty. Here's one that just shows you, like, if you just do a bunch of just them. a bunch of them, just different colorways, and it just kind of gives it that kind of a fun look. Yeah. Kind of, and then this one are just some diamonds with just a Ooh, white background. So it. that one, you know, um, this, it could, you could use a layer cake oh, and yeah. um, you would be able to get four sets of those out of each piece of fabric. So, I mean, layer cakes, a lot of times you can divide them into light dark or you might do, you know, by a color or so you might have your whole quilt just right out of a layer cake exactly. in that roller. Yeah. So it makes it. I love it when really, it's that easy. Yes. Nice. Yes. Give me a layer, couple yeah. layer cakes and let me go. Yeah. And the layer cakes, once again, it's like, I think you have to, you have to do opposites. I know that. So <laughs> you would cut one layer cake and then you'd have to cut the other one the opposite, opposite way. way yeah. So, but you would get in the hang of that. And you, obviously you're not going to cut one at a time. You, you would cut like four or five or six, depending on when you replaced your blade. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then you would cut the next and you just make, before you make that next cut, just make sure they're right. So I took a couple of squares that I was playing she with last so, night. It's so cute. Yeah. Some of the things she just made. It's like, so this one. Is that little, cute? Happy the sunshine. sunshine. And so you can see these are two that are the opposite. And someone asked earlier, they asked about um, the our symmetry line, kind of what we were talking about. And yeah, this is what you do when your points don't match up. You just border <laughs> something over it. <laughs> Tana, is, Tana is on to me. <laughs> they actually matched pretty close. They were really, really close. Oh, yeah. It looks like it from the back. Yeah. yeah see that? Look at the back. 
see, they matched. I did. Oh, I did open all my seams because I was like, mm, I was just playing with stuff. I'm like, it makes it easier to mm -hmm. put to put together. So, so um, cute. so like these ones are opposites. The angle is the opposite direction. So one way and the other way. And then these ones are the opposite direction. So one way and one way. So on this one, this one ends up being four by eight. So then I was seeing, well, how can I play with it and get a four by two? So that made it really easy to That's switch so that and play with the different angles to put them together. So you could do, you know, your quilt one way and then add a little border where it would end up matching up perfectly right, along right. your border, whatever. So that's just kind of showing that. That little sunshine. So there's our little, <laughs> our little happiness. And then the one that I just, once I saw it, like I could not unsee it. <laughs> was, she's so, I, she's so yes, creative. Is it, I love it. The diamonds, when you put four together and it makes a diamond, come on. What do you guys all think of? Springtime. Think Spring springtime. Spring. Outside. Windy. Windy. <laughs> Keep on, keep on. Look, I'm running. <laughs> so I'm like, that just looks like a little cut. Right. So I put so some blue cute. so it would be the background. Once again, you have two one way and two the other way. So it's a little opposite. And then Look just a little, little border. Kites, yep. Little border to add your. So this would be like the little mini quilt size. It's about, yeah. it's about. That's it. You like can make it that minis, size. Yeah, the little skinny minis. minis. Skinny minis. Is that what we call them? The skinny so, minis or yeah. something like that? So, I mean, That's but so you could cute. also make it as a wall here. It would be cute as a like a decorative quilt mm -hmm. to have all the little tells on there and stuff. But so. And your cat would sit there. <laughs> your cat. <laughs> it's also doubles as a cat toy. <laughs> so that is our half square rectangles. Did you learn anything new? But I need to play with it before I yes. get my fabric. Me. But math <laughs> is hard on camera. And math and geometry, I think you get like a hall pass or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, Barb says, yeah. And it was those quilts I was looking at. And I'm like, that looks like a kite to me. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I'm like, how, yep. how easy would it be to be a kite? Super easy. Super easy. Um like once I put that blue background on there, it was like, oh yeah, it's such a, a kite. So I love it. Yep.